what's up guys and welcome to probably my first how to use uh, video and we're gonna start off with probably the one I wanted to do the least because I like GoGoat so much but hey we're gonna use uh, how to use GoGoat now for the people that do know me they know that I do hate this mod a lot and it's not because it's outright broken or anything like that it's hardly it's the case but it's more often than not that this mon has in some way or another stole me out or got the last hacks. So I tend to be very aware about this mon. Now I know it's not, like I said, it's not outright broken mon. And hell, I even say it's a PU for a reason. But like I said, it does has have its perk. Now, with all that said, we're of course going to talk about the benefit of GoGoat and actually a bit about, the, of course, the downside and what is PU in the first place. Of course, we're going to start with the good parts. What does GoGoat have? Well, a massive HP set. It actually has a whole lot of HP. And it actually is so bad that uh, I really can't stress enough how well it's holding its own. Now, it does have 123, of course, in base, um, base HP. And that is followed up by a very strong base 100 attack. So that, that's decent. That's really decent. Then we come to a bit of a lacking defensive stat of 62. They have a very high special attack of 97. That's actually really, really dangerous. And of course, 81 special defense, which is kind of average and fairly decent. And then of course, we have the speed stats, which it's sadly, it's kind of downfall with this mod of being, of course, 68 base. And um, it does have actually grass pelt, which is one of his ability. But the one you, you always want to use is, of course, sap zipper. <laughs> Which boost is already kind of high attack of 100 to a bit more uh, devastating. Now, the issues, of course, with the mon is that it lack its defense. It's kind of whittled down by defense of loan. And that's, like I said, it is its downfall. It does stumble with that in mind. And the um, second part being that um, it just lack the speed to actually sustain itself really nicely. Uh, the perks were the, the good NU mons that are just a single grass type is that they are speed enough to withstand himself, such as, of course, Sceptile. Um, Gogo kind of falls in between there, and Gogo does share a lot of things with uh, Miltank to some extent. It has, has a lot of HP, uh, and then, of course, a good attack, and it's actually, in general, a bit bulkier. But, as I said there, the, the extra special attack, while it would make him on a great mixed attacker, it just lacked the speed to actually pull it off. Had it switched that one around, one might not know. Might, maybe Gogo would have been a much more sustainable defensive mon than it is today. So, yeah, with all that said, we're going to go over actually four sets that I've been using. And um, I'm not going to lie about that. A few of these sets are uh, either a bit more weary or... Uh, my mousepad is there. Yay. A um, bit more weary or they are really, really good. Now, the first set that we're going to showcase is, of course, the bulk up set. And probably is, this is a set that does work fairly in every tier. It has limits, like I stated, but at the same time, it's probably is a set that just pack a lot more punches. This set is definitely what get me going. And if you don't call up upon it, you're going to stumble against that now. With that said, this GoGo has, of course, 184 in HP investment. It also is an adamant set, of course. 216 in attack and the rest in speed of being 108. We want 108 there mostly because we want to outspeed the base 80 mod that we can be facing. Or sorry, base 70. Uh, while there aren't too many of them, there are mods that are general bulkier in the 70 base area that we want to be able to deal with. Being able to outspeed them means that we can substitute against them. Yes, we are having substitute over, of course, milk ring to get with leftovers because more or less we just push us over the edge anyway when it comes to natural recover. Uh, and of course, we have, like I said, bulk up. Usually, one bulk up is more than enough to actually sustain himself. And you really want to use this mod when it comes to Gore Guys. Gore Guys being, of course, extremely prominent in this tier, it does work here. Gogo does work really well. And uh, mostly because you can set up against, uh, or set up when it comes to, of course, uh, um, possible Will Wisp. And the second part being, of course, that uh, Gore Guys can't break the sub. And after one bulk up, very few things can. And uh, you kind of want the speed to make sure that if they can break it, hopefully you can take them down in the process. There aren't really that many mods that are prominent with that high speed. So GoGoat is a good natural response to make sure that 
its only main issues is the one 100 base or the 80 base miles and uh, you can also solve that by pushing more into the speed but you will lack the hp which is uh, kind of nice to have when you have leftovers so yeah this is probably the set that i've been using the most and uh, it does work um it has issues of course uh horn leech and earthquake make sure that other general grass types can wall this set really good and there are things that you can't hit such as flying moths but at the same time the ones flying flying in the tiers um aren't really that good in the first place and usually two bull caps behind it and a substitute make sure that you actually hurt them before your forces switch out and you of course want natural teammates with this pokemon in mind and the second set, not as effective, but hell is it funny to use. That is the Life Orb set with just special attacks. Now, I had this set mixed um, for, um, well, for not too long ago, but actually decided to go all special attack. We have Giga Drain and Surf, which is actually good coverage. Uh, it does hurt a lot of things. The things it doesn't hit well is, of course, Dragons and other Grass types, and, of course, Grass Poison, one of them being extremely annoying. But with that in mind, of course, we're going to have Hino Power Ice. Now, with that said, it will not hurt as much. You can use Grope with this set in mind if you want to boost. It's already kind of decent special attack. But, yeah, it's fun to use. You have Milk Drink to hopefully force something out. Uh, or even, you can actually... Not all of the mods can do 50% HP on this mod anyway. Which means you actually can recover kind of effortlessly. But if you want to, you can go with, of course, the likes of Growth instead. We actually can give up Hidden Power Ice if you want to also... You can even go with, I do believe it's called Natural Power, which of course is a possible try attack. It's not too shabby. Uh, it's kind of niche. It definitely doesn't work in higher tiers. But uh, as, a, as far as the usage go, I love it. And as you see guys there, the speed is to make sure yet again to have speed the likes of base 80 months or 70 months. The next set is more towards the sets that you can go against in RU. So this is the one I do recommend in RU if you don't want to go with a pull cap set. This one has enough HP or enough speed to outspeed the likes of uh, Edemons. It is not as good as it looks on paper. Uh, it is a fully offensive set with, as I said, Assault Vest. It has more leads, Earthquake, Sun Headbutt, and Superpower. And Jim, um, it's full offensive. It's made to hurt... It's made to survive the onslaught, but with the likes of Tanger of the Natir, it does struggle. And of course, with the Durand, yeah, things are gonna hurt. Now, this guy can take on uh, the likes of Obama Snow, actually, kind of nicely. Its superpower is in the area of, um, actually, to it KO it. With that said, if um, if you don't KO it, you can, or rather, I should say, you can only KO it if it's Stellar Frost is in Bond. Outside of that, don't do it. But... Um, it can stay in a lot of mods, and that's what I like about it. It can stay in against a Hounder, for example, take a Flamethrower, retaliate with the Earthquake, and most likely kill it. Uh, so it's a lot of, um, how do you call it, a revenge killer, basically. It can take a hit that retaliates, and it retaliates rather nicely. Like I said, base 100 attack is actually quite respectable. Uh, and of course, then Headbutt is for the few mods that can actually withstand this mod kind of nicely, such as Among Us. Among Us will be able to hurt this guy, but most likely Gogo, if it is a full HP, will win the matchup with Sun Headbutt. And of course, Horn Lich is there for the Slow King. Now, when it comes to Tangrowth, there is nothing you can do. Just get out of there. Sludge Form is going to hurt anyway. It's not worth it. And when it comes to NU, I highly recommend to use, of course, um, the Bullcap set instead. It actually goes for here too. While this set is nice, I, I do like it. It has clear limits, and that's why the bullcap set with substitute is much, much more prominent. But as a standalone Pokemon, this actually does pack a punch behind it, and it can stay in against the matchup it's not supposed to win. That's why I like using it. And the last set is probably the set that made me actually erase a, a session. Uh, I had to ask the person what they had in store for me, and this set works. I hate it. Um, I don't know how to beat it. Or rather, it is walled out by just a grass type in general, or grass poison such as Roselia. It is. Toxic, Lead Seed, Milk Drink, and Substitute. And uh, you can go with Leftovers, you can go with Rocky Helmet, you want to be complete douche. But you want to go careful, and you want to have as much of bulk as possible to make sure to maintain your Substitute. You could be an even more asshole and actually give up uh, Milk Drink for bulk up and have... Uh, Everybody your or everything your that EVs on defenses on special defenses said, and just be bulky. 
bulky seeding son of a bitch. I can't stress enough how annoying this set is. Um, like I said, it's been working on me once, but afterwards I felt so outright disgusted that I needed to know what the hell did I face. Obviously I didn't have the right mods to fend that off. And who does? Who expects that anyway? Uh, you know, I switched out upon it, I set up a substitute, I thought, okay, no biggie, went for lead seed, I didn't break the sub, it went for a toxic, still didn't break the sub, and just, hey, uh, it was, the, it was awful. It really, really, really was awful. Now, now that we mention, of course, GoGoat's primarily stats, we're also going to mention, of course, possible teammates, because GoGoat, as stated, is really 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 limited and um, well like I said Gogot is not necessarily a bad mod it does need reliable switch ins and um, it mostly is because the grass type is it's it's limited it's tough to deal with and um, it usually needs something to kind of avoid itself properly of course like I mentioned you really want some, you really want hazards. No matter what set you're going about, you really want, since GoGo actually can force switch out, you really want hazards. And of course, Stealth Rocks being the most, best of them uh, to be prominent. Stealth Rock, of course, make sure that the ones that can hit it super effectively, but of course, fire types and flying types will be, of course, punished on the switch ins. Um, outside of that, I would say a good special defensive mod that could take, uh, Ice and uh, fire damage, and um, most likely is something with thick fat. And when it comes to PU, I do believe Grump Pig is the most, uh, the most or more obvious one. The other one being Harry Yaman and you, and the list just keeps going in that fashion. And uh, we want to make sure you can take potentially flying damage. And there are a lot of flying than water combos in the lower tiers, but one of the re do recommend for flying damage is actually any rock type. Basically, uh, Rhydon can actually be a good option here because. With Sapsip or even Rhydon has a reliable switch in, and they they cover each other's sort of tracks really well, and they have a, like I said, like they are a shared weakness for lies of we or for ice, and that you only need a basic war type to withstand that kind of power, if that's possible. That is, and of course it is weak to toxic, so a steel type doesn't hurt at all. And uh, when it comes to RU, I do believe Durant is actually kind of nice to this thing. Because there are very, the few things they can with, or take on GoGo usually can't take on, uh, Durant that well. So it's usually it's a good switching into it. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much the size of thing. GoGo has a lot of issues. So it needs teammates to withstand its, uh, <laughs> its weakness damage. And it can hold off really well. But like I said, it has clear limits. And that also means that we can't go to the likes of, uh, UU and OU because, it just doesn't keep up. There are very good grass types in the higher tiers. Like I said, Tangro, most prominent of those. That's why we can't really mention UU or OU because it just, it can't hold a candle. Now you could go with a Koba Bear in OU just to take on a talent flame if you want to. But then again, we have the U-turns. We have the bug types. They're going to hurt these mana a lot. So it just, like I said, it doesn't really hold a candle. When it comes to UU, I'd much rather use Shaman than a Gogo, for example. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this list was helpful. I also hope that you guys want to see more of these videos. And if you do, what mod do you want to see me go at? And I'd much rather do a lower tier mod and try to solve them in a higher tier, if that is possible. And no, we're not going to have a how to punch a baby. While I have been laughing about it, we're not going to do it. Yet. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Of course, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.